Let's see if she, she gets squeezed. So I, th I think the O2 got a got a push there and wiggled down the racetrack, and then they just kind of squeezed and touched on corner entry to one. And just really tough part of the corner. The car is really light, and uh, obviously a, a small push when you're racing that close. You know, only a few inches door to door. Uh, generates some Let's go. <laughs> that was just a bad push by Karim. He had a big push from behind, and mm -hmm. yep. Sometimes you just, it's, you know, the push from the back could have been the problem for him. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell whether, you know, who's actually the yes. one involved in those, whether you're getting, you know, getting a bump from behind you that knocks you into somebody else and makes it kind of hard to blame somebody. You can see Keith hit. Wow, something just broke something on that broke. truck. Had to break on the right front of that truck and just turned him straight into the outside. Towards Green and white car. And Brad Kozlowski and he make contact. Kozlowski got to his rear bumper, just took a little bit of a love tap, turned him sideways, kind of looked, I was, looked to me like he was on the left corner of that bumper, turned him right down into Harrison Burton. Well, and it's just what we were talking about, Clint, with everybody trying to feel out. Yeah, exactly right side of your screen. Gets pretty wide coming off the corner and just, just loses gets it. Loose. Got, just got loose. He's got something sparking back there. I, I think he had some sort of an issue where he lost the back of the car because he was kind of tracking up the racetrack all the way on the exit of the corner by himself and then obviously collects uh, kind of a bystander there in the in the 69 car and, and really Mullins hits a ton in the back of that car. And it's hard to see it from this angle, but there was a lot more smoke than it looked like probably from, from the angle that we were looking at it. So Willie was probably in that smoke. And you see Alex Bowman up the racetrack and then they start zigging and zagging here and Well, obviously, William Byron and Bowman, that's where it ended up. But the, the movement from the 6 and the 22, jockeying for position, trying to outduel one another to that position of passing Chastain, that's what stacked all those guys up and got them in trouble. Those guys were going for it. Chastain was holding them up. You saw the 6 go to the bottom. You saw the 22 go to the outside. They're on pit road They're and from on board. Oh, oh my gosh. Now let's go on board. see two cars ahead of you, so it's just tough. See the fire come out the exhaust, somebody let off, and bam. To go straight into the wall on the final lap. Here's another look. Yeah, Jake's just going down the straightaway, and they start pushing and shoving there. And Should be good on onboard view here from... Uh, from Perez coming up as he's he's obviously the car that's he's on top of Andy Jankowiak's yeah. car. Amanda. Raja, there was many ways that I was going to go in this conversation with you, but I uh, saw you hand the phone back that you were just on and the name said Rick Hendrick. What did that conversation go? Yeah, it's uh, it's all because of him, you know, being in this spot. So I'm uh, really thankful for Mr. H and the Hendrick. Uh, automotive group along with Spire Motorsports and Chevy because the only reason I got around